picked the wrong weight to quit sniffing glue. E.T. Phone Home. Well, this is a long day coming. Welcome back. Um, it's time finally to do the next set of uh, E.T. Uh, chapters in the E.T. build. This time we are doing 33 to 35. And that is the next pack of these. Um, and this, you know, I'm not going to belabor the point that it seems to take forever for these things to get here. But it did finally. Um, and uh, off we go. Now, like before, I will be uh, probably just checking in at the end of each stage to see uh, how much we've gotten done. We're still working on the inner mechanism here right now it's the right chest frame so we're going to be building on to this piece here uh, many people are building this online and have far surpassed me I think Wayne is two packs uh, he just did another pack which put him a pack two packs ahead of me now so uh, we'll catch back up but uh, we're going to continue on building this framework that's happening inside and I think that is the whole crux of this. Uh, and then we're starting on the neck mechanism, but uh, or the mechanism as I call it. Uh, we're going to start on the mechanism. Um, but let's uh, open up a pack and get some parts put together finally. That was exhausting. Uh, stage 33 used all of two screws. We were given parts. We didn't use them. All we did was put this panel on and it's done. Shocking. Shocking, I know. Uh, but, oh, thank goodness we got a new, uh, we got a new box to put our books in. A new binder. Heaven forfend, we, uh, take all this and not protect it. Uh, I'm sorry, you may be sensing a little bit of sourness. It's just that here we have six stages worth of stuff. We have six stages of stuff that could have been done in three stages. I... To say that they are stretching this out is to be kind. Um, but here we go. It looks like we're doing the same exact thing again with the left lateral structure of the chest. Toss that. And we have more screws that we probably don't need. Let's take this panel out. This is the mirror to the panel we had last time. And we're going to do what we, exactly what we did last time. We're going to put these on. Now I need to get the short screws out of here. So we're going to have all these screws emptied out. And let's see, we need the PT, PTPB, which are not the tiniest ones. They are the second smallest ones. Okay, so we do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do this on the camera because it takes zero time to do. Start screw. Put the next one in. This screwdriver is not magnetized. That's what the problem is. It, you have to manually hold the screws. Make sure, oh, make sure this stuff is on camera. It's thrilling. You don't want to miss it. down here now this was uh, another two glorious weeks he spent in Kansas City I don't know what kind of distribution they have there I'm presuming that's where they kind of put everything together for their stateside entries and then box it all up and send it out and that's it that's it we keep these parts for the next time Hopefully, at some point, we'll use them. Honest to God, I will tell you. These should have been one issue by themselves. And then we get these ones in the, in these in the screws that we're not using for the next issue. It's flat out ridiculous how they've padded this set. Ready? We're on to the next thrilling chapter, 35. And we've actually got some metal pieces this time and a uh, bearing um, and we're going to be putting together a lot of the pieces we had before from the last time so 
Um, insert the pulley. Let's see, we're taking this and we're putting the pulley or the, uh, yeah, we're putting the bearing around the pulley and it goes into a part like this. I'm hoping I got the right one. There's only two of these to guess from. You know what? It probably needs to go in this one. Okay. Make sure it's in nice and square. It is not. Okay. Put this in nice and square. There we go. Nice and square. Now we can put the pulley in, or put this piece in. Make sure that it's spinning. It is. Getting lots of uh, play. Okay. Insert pulley into bearing, both into part 30, 3302 from last issue. Press tightly, then remove the pulley, leaving the bearing fitted in the mount. Okay, the bearing is fitted in the mount. Okay, insert the pin into the pulley, into the shaft here. Pin into shaft, shaft into crank. Okay. And put some multi-purpose glue on the joint. Oh, they want us to glue the shaft in place. Okay. Uh, well, I'll do this and then we'll turn... This may be worth turning the camera off for. It was all we did. Uh, I, apparently, I was thinking there was more to it. There was going to be more to it than there was. So all we did was put the uh, bearing in there and put a little glue on that and we set that aside. So now we're into issue 36 just blazing our way through this uh through this build so now we are on the sixth chapter of neck mechanism neck mechanism should have been all one chapter i think that we can all agree on that okay so this is package 36 package 36 is open we've got another bearing we've got a bag inside a bag isn't that it can isn't that uh environmentally friendly of them uh, let's see okay we've got the big crank here we've got another bearing and another crank piece okay so we take this and we're gonna stuff this other part they want us to put a bearing in that I'm just gonna put it in this way Instead of having to use the part like they said, I'll press it all the way in, see it's done. La da. Okay, um, this is. Okay, do that. Oops, it goes this way. And then we put the other one facing this way. Okay, done. And then I'll bet you we put this bolt through there. Oh my gosh, there are two pages. Two pages of instructions here. I actually had to flip the page to see what else there is to do. Shocking. Okay. Um, joint. And. Bear and washer. And nut on this side lock nut okay tighten it all down okay so that goes like that And now we go like this. Make sure the up is up. We do this on this side, making sure the up is up. The ups are both facing the up direction. We've got this going like a choo-choo train. 
and we need PTP screws and the PTP screws left over from issues long gone by let's make sure that we are using you know they could have just given them to us this time okay that's not in issue 35 issue 34 P T P okay those are the two smallest ones Okay, those are the two small ones. They go here and there. screwed together yay and then from the back it looks like this okay lovely and that does the rest of that issue and we are on the 37 37 tells me we have more neck mechanism the mechanism and someday we're going to use all these screws we've been amassing maybe today is that day okay everybody out everybody out okay um, this we're making a big pulley so we're gonna take this we're gonna slip that onto the top of it it gets these new tiny screws and the new tiny screws get the screwdriver now having cheated and looked ahead at some other people's builds if i am remembering correctly something about this has to get pulled right back off in the near future to uh, accommodate some other part so uh, we got that to look forward to too no belts in this uh, pack belt comes next time again I'm confusing what's in this pack with the latest that some other people have already put together so I realize I'm playing a bit of catch up here Use the bigger screwdriver, it's gonna give you less crampage in the hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, nope, not gonna do it. Stop grousing, you're basically putting the one flange and on a pulley that they could have cast this as a single part but okay here we go we've got that piece on now it looks very much it place the clutch 3703 which is now this onto the finished assembly from issue 36 which is this matching the notches on the clutch with those on the pulley now when did they tell us they didn't now they're telling us put this on the notch on the pulley there we go now this goes over top of it and that's the front view and we have that's it that's the front view okay it's a cliffhanger because we've got nothing to hold that pulley on hold in place I'm presuming all will be resolved in this final thrilling chapter here this is the issue 38 it is the last one we've got a spring we've got some washers 
and we've got uh, looks like a uh, it's probably what they're going to use as a wrench, but it's a uh, looks like a little T-shaped dealy. Come on, everybody out! And issue thirty-eight. Uh, one. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Okay, take this. We go washer, spring, washer again. Looks like a knob retainer. And then we have a lock nut to go on the top of that. Now we are to use this as a wrench and spin this down till about place washer. Screw the M4 onto the shaft by tightening with the wrench until it leaves about two millimeter of screws showing. Okay. Guessing about two millimeter. That looks like about a two millimeter. Let's see, that's eh. okay, that's about right. About two millimeter showing. Do we do anything else? Oh my god, look at this. We have so much work to do. We're gonna use up all these screws. Okay, we're gonna take this. Uh, place the assembly from step one of the final step to step 34. Um, in the orientation shown with the pulley wheel forward this is the front pulley wheel forward it goes in like that they want us to screw things in from the side now tell me if I'm wrong catch me on this if I'm wrong if you just waited and didn't put these side pieces on. Just, I mean, you did one and didn't do the other one. Wouldn't it give you a much easier time of attaching these, the side mechanism? What you, you know, very nicely could do, take that off. This is going to go towards the front. It goes like this, fits inside. It uses these humongous screws. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in them in all loosely at first and then go around and tighten them. I'm going to do the radical thing here and then put the other side on and put all the screws in at the same time. So much easier than trying to bend the plastic out around to make this thing fit. Well, I'm going to tighten all these down and then we'll do some closing. Soak it all in, my friends. This is the fruits of our labor today. Uh, now, I've gone ahead and put this piece inside because I know it's coming. Uh, better just to keep it out of the way. I know it's adjustable here and it goes through all five screws, but that happens, I believe, in the next stage. I'm just putting it in there for uh, just to keep it safe. But we've got we've got our pulley in here for the neck mechanism. Boy, howdy. Okay, so that's it for another six plus weeks on the ET build uh, next time around 
uh, will probably be working on that belt and that mechanism from what I've seen. And I think we've got more neck. Or, or I think this starts to work its way back up to the top. So, that's it for this time. See you next time. And that was it for this batch, this current batch of ET uh, stages. We'll be back in a month or so for the uh, the next thrilling round. Um, hopefully, I will want to start seeing some skin because they haven't convinced me yet about how they are doing the skinning on this thing and what it's going to look like. I've not seen anybody do any sort of reporting on uh, what, other than the face mask that we've gotten. Uh, what the skin actually is going to consist of if it's going to be a bunch of pulling together things with magnets like the uh, alien build was or uh, or what so uh, that's the great unknown still uh, and again This was this was six stages that could have been three and we could have gotten twice as many and be done with this thing twice as fast um, You know charge me twice as much if you feel you need to but you're drawing this thing out it is, uh, it's, at least at this point, it's not that elaborate of a thing. So until the next round, when hopefully I'll have a better attitude about things. Good.